you doing? That's the guy from Pittsburgh. Well, in the UK, Dame Sally, England's chief medical officer, said screening is unlikely to pick up any cases. It would be spillover from West Africa. At JFK, screening is underway in other airports. Locally here, Walnut Creek, John Muir Hospital said it's ready for Obama, Ebola, not Obama. And meanwhile, Obama came to San Francisco Thursday. Code Pink, or as I like to call them, Code Stink, and the hags from Code Stink were there saying, stop bombing people, and the other guys were saying, do more bombing of ISIS, do more about ISIS. The UK held a drill for Ebola the other day, and there are 14 guys sitting in Spain in the hospital isolation ward. They're all exposed to Ebola with one patient there. Confirmed patient in uh, Brazil. And the woman in Spain sought help three times. She saw a doctor. Then she had to wait at the hospital. Then she laid in the emergency room for eight hours. Sounds like what happened, what it's going to happen to you when you get Obamacare, doesn't it? Lie there and wait and, and get sicker. And a health worker tests positive for Ebola in Ebola Central, Dallas, Texas. Why? Because apparently he rubbed his face with the glove. They're talking about protocols being violated. 5,000 false alarms, according to Forbes. Guy gets on a plane, Dominican Republic, yells, I've got Ebola, you're all, you're all screwed. And our general in charge of Southcom says he fears an epidemic coming from Latin America. Who says East Asia is vulnerable to, to Ebola? Seven, four hundred and 7,493 cases, 3,439 deaths. Wire stories all over the place, but the one that's ignoring it is Asia. Yes, they're more worried about the communists. And here's a story from the Daily News. Ebola cases could rise exponentially by next year. There we go. CDC says 1.4 million cases by next year. But the clueless one in the White House and the clueless one running the CDC are running around saying, not to worry, the sky is not falling. And they're saying here 20,000 people could be infected as soon as early November. So, you tell me, Spain's got a committee to deal with Obama. I, with, I keep saying Obama. I don't know why I'm obsessed with that. I keep making a mistake. And I want to know why we're not having nationwide drills for this. Why we're not having... You know, why we're not stopping these people from coming in? I read a figure that there's 300 people a day coming in from Africa. And what about ISIS or Al Qaeda? Could they infect people and bring them in here? You know, infect them before they get on the plane, so they have no symptoms at all. They're fine, and they come here a couple of days later. Bam! They got a ball of full spread. Start infecting people like crazy, shaking your hand, coughing on you, whatever. You think you got a cold. And, uh, had lots of fever here. And Marburg here. All kinds of stuff. But we're not doing anything. Uh, some hospitals are setting up for it. 
But what happens if we get hundreds of these people coming in here, all seeking treatment like Duncan, all knowing they're going to die, and there's no cure for this, and they're out of that special MZAP vaccine? That's what I want to know. And I'll make a prediction right now. We get an epidemic here, Obama's toast. So is the head of the CDC, boat will hit, hit, hit by bus. Because they're hiding something. They hit, tried to hide prostitutes with the Secret Service. But uh, there's an epidemic. They're going to hide the news as long as possible, just like they hide the real inflation numbers, but not counting food and gasoline. So that's what I'm worried about. That's what my girlfriend's worried about. And I know other people are worried about it too. But yeah, it's unlike you get it. Let's say a guy coughs up all over you. But how are you going to know that? How are you going to know he's not sick with it? And when he goes and infects his wife, his girlfriend, his family members, his cousins here in America. And they all got sick. And what we haven't heard anything about those people in the apartment. Did they get moved out? Where the hell are they? Maybe they're holed up in the same camp compound as all those illegal alien kids that were hawking up stuff with dysentery and typhus and God knows what. And they disappeared off the radar. Well, that's what I want to know. Well, Free Art Bell, I'll catch you next time. Have a great Sunday. Bye-bye.